So how's it going once again, Point Loma? This is the second time I'm with you. My name is Brian Fry, and we're talking a little bit about the Sabbath today. And in the text that we're looking at, I love that Jesus tends to do this like reverse show and tell kind of thing from when we were kids. Like, it's not show and tell, it's tell and show. And so the last time we talked, it was the tell about the Sabbath, and this time it's the show. And so Mark chapter 3, starting in verse 1, we're looking at a passage right after the last one that we looked at. Another time Jesus went into the synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal them on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with a shriveled hand, Stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked them, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. So as we talked about last time, God commanded his people to rest one day a week in the Ten Commandments, to not work on the Sabbath, on that one day each week. And to make sure that no one broke this command, the people of God interpreted that to mean that helping anyone except if it was a life or death situation, was considered work and so was forbidden to do on the Sabbath. So, that being said, if you fell into a pit and I walked along, and even though you had a broken leg and you were crying out for help to me in the pit, and it was the Sabbath, sorry bro, can't help you. And I would just maybe come back tomorrow after the Sabbath was over, but I might not. And in this passage that we're looking at, Jesus is worshiping on the Sabbath, and a man with a shriveled hand was present. Now, that shriveled hand is obviously not a life or death kind of situation. So in order to not upset the Jewish Sabbath laws and the leaders who were present, Jesus could have helped this man and easily said something like this. My heart really goes out to you with your hand like that, brother. But I love God even more and I want to obey his clear commandment. Let me invite you to my place immediately after the Sabbath and then I will help you. Now, that makes sense. Everybody's happy and the man still gets healed. But this isn't what Jesus did. Jesus healed him. See, Jesus intentionally went out of his way to break their assumptions about the Sabbath and about the laws in general. And I love it. I love that Jesus doesn't take a break from loving people no matter what day it is. I love that Jesus is more interested than loving people, in healing people, than in obeying someone else's interpretation of the law. I love that living into true rest, a Sabbath kind of rest, has everything to do with doing the good that you can do and nothing to do with putting rules, whether social rules or religious rules, ahead of caring for people. I also love that Jesus gets angry. And that might be weird to you because, you know, for a long time, I was always scared that God was angry and that was a really bad thing, a really terrifying thing. But I think you can learn a lot about a person by watching what angers them and then by watching what they do with their anger. In our passage here, people are avoiding doing good to others under the facade of being spiritual, and it pisses Jesus off. If you've ever been upset at Christians for being more focused on policing their rules than on loving people, even people that are messy, then you're in good company because you're in company with Jesus. That being said, I love also, and maybe even more, what Jesus does with his anger. Jesus answers his own question about what's lawful to do on the Sabbath, whether to do good or to do evil, by healing this man's hand in front of all of them. So in the midst of his anger, in the midst of his rage, Jesus heals. I tend to do a few things with my anger, and it's not healing. But that's not who Jesus is. And it's so good, friends. The second part of Jesus' question is odd and interesting to me as well. He says, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to save life or to kill? 
And this is weird because nobody's life is in danger here except maybe Jesus's. See, Jesus knows that healing this man's hand on the Sabbath will put his life in danger, and that is the point. He's choosing to intentionally do this because the cross is the fullest and ultimate expression of the love of God for us. And that's exactly where he's headed. Now, if you haven't noticed, it's pretty easy to follow external rules while completely missing the heart of God. It's easy to make enemies of people just because they live differently than we do or, or they disagree with something that we really care about. I mean, it seems like we all have a little bit of stubborn hearted Pharisee in us, me included. I think the invitation for us today is to become more like the man with the shriveled hand, to risk opening our shriveled love up to Jesus, to invite Jesus' healing power into the spaces that we've been dismissive, the spaces that we've been villainizing others and avoiding to do the good that we know to do with those that we don't like. I think Jesus' invitation is for us to become more like the man with the shriveled hand. See, it's Jesus' willingness to die for us, especially when we don't deserve it and could never earn it, that begins to warm our crippled love to him and to the people around us. And this is where we find our ultimate Sabbath rest. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will, friends, find rest for your souls, for Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. My question to you as we close today is, how can you position yourself to rest in Jesus' love this week? We're glad you were able to join us for this invitation into rest. For further resources, we invite you to check out our care package for renewal and rest. You can access that through your Canvas student account or find the Google site in the description below.